What is up everyone, my name is Evan Sorcerer. Today, I'm doing another video on some new stuff coming to the game in a future update. But before I get started, I wanted to say that everything that is shown in this video is thanks to Nubby Nubbo on Twitter. He is the one who provides all of these pictures. I will leave his link down below in the description. Also, right now, before the video starts, if you could leave a like, that would be great. If we can get this video to 100 likes, then I will make a vid about some new spell concepts or a possible new school that we might have coming to the game. So if you want to see a vid about those concepts that I made, then make sure to leave a like. But yeah, that's all. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first I'm going to be showing you all these new Deer Knight pets that are added into the game. And they actually look really cool. You know, this one is called the Great Horn Knight. And it gives one Spirit Blast card at Baby. And so the armor is just really nice looking the design is kind of unlike any other pets that are in the game right now you know there's already a deer knight pet but it's more so just based off of the actual spell this one is more so uh more updated looking and the armor on it just like i said looks really nice you know i wish we had armor like this for our wizards um you know just the way that it glows and it has sort of that symbol on top around the the chest area that's really awesome especially even the axe that it's holding the axe is really uh it has a really nice design to it as well so the great horn knight is definitely a pet that i would try to go for you know when it's released in the game i would definitely want to use this pet it's kind of unlike any other pets that have been added recently it's kind the other ones they're kind of hit or miss but this one definitely looks really awesome and then this isn't the only deer knight pet that they're adding they're adding a bunch of other ones this one is called the fast hatcher which is actually a pretty interesting name for a pet and it's kind of just this one looks more so like the actual deer knight spell i mean even the face and also just the armor that it's wearing is basically what the deer knight wears and it gives one faint card so that's also pretty cool but the next one this one right here is called the fiery death knight and just the the fiery design of the the armor looks super super nice it gives one a silencing wall card, which is minus 25% to the next three death spells. And that's already in the game as a treasure card, but it's giving it on a pet now, and that's pretty cool. So yeah, just overall, this one is definitely my favorite one, the Fiery Death Knight, because it looks really cool. And, you know, it's kind of got the same similar uh, design to the uh, first one that was shown, but it's got all over the armor, so that's really awesome. Now the next one is called the Heart Lancer, and this is another favorite of mine. It's a Storm one, and it gives a Dark Wind card. So it looks similar to the fiery death, death knight except it's got purple in there now because it's also a storm pet and then it's got sort of the same glowing red symbol around the chest the next knight pet is called the horned brocket and this is sort of a fire one i guess all of these look like fire pets i guess but they they give different school cards this one gives a fuel and this one is also really nice looking the mythical brocket gives a mythic fuel and this one sort of the armor looks more detailed and that's pretty cool i like how they all have their own unique look even though it's the same uh, type of animal now the icy charger gives an ice bird and once again it manages to look different from the other ones and have sort of this silver design all right so finally for the pets there's already a mimic pet in the game from the mimic boss that was out in mirage but there's also going to be an obsidian mimic which is i guess sort of a fire version of it and it gives one a black mantle card definitely looks really cool it's got the nice little symbols on the chest and you know it looks kind of better than the other mimic pet in my opinion even though i didn't have the other one i did see what it looked like and this one definitely looks a lot better so that's all for the pets now let's move on to the npcs so here's the first Cabal NPC that was found in the files, and it is called the Crocotopian Cabalist. And so I guess you can call these NPCs Cabalists, and that means that they are obviously a part of the Cabal, which was introduced in Mirage, and it's still got that gate in the Arcanum, which we have no idea leads to. How there, however, there is some speculation that it could be that the Cabal found a new school, which would then be Cantrips, which was found in the, the files a few years ago, the name for a new school called Cantrips. So I have made videos about this before i will link them at the end of the vid if you want to see them they're in the outro um and we don't know if the cabal is any in any way related to a new school however it is definitely already in the game and it's obviously an evil organization that works not with old Cobb, but they're trying to they're sort somewhat on his side but also against his side we don't know if they're the good guys or not and uh, basically you know the entire theme is that our wizards could have been being could be being lied to by the uh the arcanum scholars and uh that that's basically what Greta Dark Kettle tried to tell us was that, hey, they're not being truthful. You all are on the wrong side. You know, the wizard, you're supposed to be with us. So the Cabal could be the right side and we just don't know it or they just could be, could be trying to lie and throw an illusion. 
And interesting enough, cantrips means illusion. So that could mean that possibly cantrips is related to the Cabal, but we do not know yet. However, what the Cabalist is wearing on this Krakatopian right now looks really interesting. You know, it looks really nice, kind of has a sleek design. Um, you know, he's got the Cabal symbol on uh, sort of this necklace, and then he's got this spear and also sort of this nice little, um, these kind of nice little, um, I don't know what you call that, maybe arm guards or whatever. But he looks like he's definitely ready for, ready for battle. So we might have to fight this guy, maybe entering an Imperia or possibly in another location. But either way, he definitely looks like, you know, your typical uh, NPC that you go into battle to fight. Here's another picture of the Cabalist from the Fowls, and he looks more of in a crouch position now or as if he's about to defend. So that definitely gives you an idea that we're probably going to fight this guy. Here's the other Cabal NPC, and this one is a Polarian Cabalist. So this one definitely looks really cool, a lot cooler than the Krakatopian one because he's more sophisticated. He's almost as if someone that might become friends with us. Maybe that means eventually we're going to join alliance with the Cabal, or he may become friendly with us and then eventually betray us because he seems like he may be not like a, a, somebody that we're gonna battle like the Krakatopian, but more so someone that is gonna be more of power or probably like a crime boss not necessarily a crime boss but you guys know what i'm saying you know he's gonna have more power and uh he definitely looks really um sort of evil he's got the you know he's got this nice jacket he's wearing a cabal necklace again i wonder if that's gonna be a theme that's gonna be really cool actually if all the cabalists wear these necklaces around necklaces around them he's got this really cool you know robe maybe they'll make cabal themed gear for our wizards that would actually be really awesome you know i would wear it even if the cabal ends up still being evil and we don't end up joining the cabal it would still be really nice here's another position that you can see in another picture of how he's standing now it looks like he's sort of laughing maybe so maybe this guy's gonna be meticulous he's got an umbrella as well I just noticed so yeah this is definitely really interesting and I'm definitely going to talk about these NPCs some more in some future videos for you guys but thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like like I said at the beginning if we can get it to 100 likes then I will make a spell concepts video for the concepts that I made for a new school if we possibly get one also make sure to subscribe if you're new and I will see you all in my next vid peace